Hi, and welcome to another edition of Diabetes in a Minute. Today I'd like to talk to you about numbers, but the numbers I'd like to talk about are the readings that you get when you test your blood sugar at home with your blood glucose monitor. Very often when you are diagnosed with diabetes, your physician will recommend that you test your blood sugar at home so that you can get a good idea of how your diet and exercise program or your diet exercise and medication program is working. And so they will often recommend a type of meter, a company, a blood glucose monitor or meter, or just may suggest that you get one on your own. And when you bring it home, it's very uh, easy to learn how to use. And the sites for these companies usually have how-to videos online. Uh, in the future, I'll most likely do a video on testing blood sugar. But for today, I want to talk to you about what the numbers mean and what time you should be doing testing. I mean, you get this machine, it's pretty cool. Within seconds, it tells you what your blood sugar reading is, but now you've got a number on the screen. And you may be thinking to yourself, terrific, I have a number. Is it good? Is it a problem? And so um, if you've got a pencil and a paper, you might want to take some notes. But we're going to be talking uh, in regard to type 2 diabetes and the testing times that are usually uh, recommended for that type of diabetes. Always check with your physician, make sure that these are the times of day that your physician would like you to obtain uh, your readings. The first time of day that it makes sense to test is first thing in the morning, and that's considered to be fasting blood sugar. Um, the error that I see my patients make is that they may wake up at say 7 a.m. but and they may eat nothing and then at 9 a.m. right before breakfast they do their blood sugar test and to them that is fasting they haven't eaten and it's right before they have a meal so that seems legitimate but uh, to be honest with you an accurate fasting reading is taken very soon after you get up in the morning, uh, before you get on with your day. Believe it or not, the longer you take to check your blood sugar in the morning, even though you haven't eaten, the higher your blood sugar will generally rise when you have type 2 diabetes. Yes, you heard that right. So if I were to wake up at 7 a.m., get out of bed, wash my hands, do my test, and got a reading. And if I did not eat for another two hours, and I tested at that point, right before 9 a.m., right before breakfast, I think the assumption would be that the longer it was that I waited to test my blood sugar, the lower my blood sugar would be. But ironically, the longer you wait to test in the morning first thing, the higher your blood sugar will be. And that's a function of what it is that causes your morning blood sugar. Believe it or not, your morning blood sugar reading does not have a whole lot to do with what you had for dinner the night before, or if you had a snack before bed, or if you had a piece of cake during the day the previous day. We're going to be talking, when we talk about diabetes, about five hour blocks of time. And the food that you eat, particularly the carbohydrate food that you eat, lasts in your body for approximately five hours. So if I did have a larger than uh, anticipated dinner at 7 p.m., five hours later at midnight, that dinner's carbohydrate has run its course. Um, same thing with a nighttime snack. If I take a snack at 10 p.m. and I go to bed, if you add five hours to 10 p.m., you have 3 a.m. At 3 a.m., you're out of bullets. And what happens after five hours pass without eating carbohydrate is that your liver will release glycogen stores, which are sugar stores. So believe it or not, your blood sugar in the morning is not testing what you ate the 
previous day. Your morning blood sugar is testing what your liver released during the night while you sleep. So your first number in the morning is showing what the liver has released. If I ate something at 10 p.m. and at 3 a.m. my liver turned on and I checked my blood sugar at 7 a.m., my liver would have influenced my blood sugar for four hours from 3 to 7. If I wait until 9 a.m. to test my blood sugar, your liver would release at about 3 a.m. in the middle of the night. It will release again at around 8 a.m. and then I test my blood sugar at 9 a.m. It is necessarily going to be higher at 9 a.m. because of that recent influx of sugar from the liver. So oddly, the longer you wait to test your blood sugar in the morning, the higher the reading will be from liver influence. And I'm going to be suggesting to you that within one hour of waking up in the morning, you have either an appropriate snack or meal so that you can shut the liver off and you will become in control of your blood sugar readings. If you wait, the longer you wait, the higher the reading can go. Sometimes people wake up in the morning, get a high reading, like a 220 blood sugar in the morning, and they think, oh my goodness, and they've got type 2 diabetes. And they think to themselves, oh my goodness, I better not eat. I'm going to wait till this blood sugar goes down. And then they skip breakfast, and they check their blood sugar before lunch and find out it's higher than it was in the morning. It's very disconcerting. So just remember, test your blood sugar first thing in the morning. As soon as you get up, go to the bathroom, wash your hands, test your blood sugar. That's your fasting reading. And have something to eat within one hour of waking up. Now, that reading in the morning, if you have no diabetes, will generally be under the number 100. If you have prediabetes, uh, it would be a healthy number if it's under the number a 110. And if you have type 2 diabetes and you're on medication, whether it is oral medication or insulin, you shoot for a morning reading under the number 120. The closer you get your morning reading to 100, the better. Alright, so first thing in the morning reading has nothing to do with food. So if that's the only blood sugar test you do, you never know how you're handling food intake. So a second time a day that makes perfect sense to test your blood sugar if you have type 2 diabetes and you're controlling it with either diet and exercise or diet, exercise, and pills is to test two hours from the start of a meal. So what that says is, if I begin my breakfast at 9, and I want to see how my body handled it, I will test my blood sugar at 11, two hours from the start of the meal, not from when I finish. I mean, I may start breakfast at 9, I may not finish till 9.30, but I still want to test at 11. And a two-hour after meal test, should be 140 or under. So first thing in the morning, you're shooting for a number as close as possible to 100. If you have prediabetes, under 110 is reasonable. If you have diabetes and you're on medication, under 120 is reasonable. But when you pick a meal and test two hours from the start of the meal, the number should be 140 or under. On your, um, on your meter. And that particular test is testing how your body is handling the carbohydrate that you ate at the meal you're testing. So I tell people, if you have type 2 diabetes and you're on diet exercise or diet exercise and pills, that you should plan on testing two times a day, first thing in the morning, and choose one meal a day test two hours after the start of the meal. And then keep good records 
and bring them to your physician's appointment when you go every three months or every six months so that your physician can see how your present uh, regimen is affecting your blood sugar readings. If you're a person with type 2 diabetes who takes insulin, most physicians prefer that you test your blood sugar before meals. So you would test first thing in the morning, uh, as soon as possible to wake up, and then you would test before lunch, you would test before dinner, you would test before bedtime, and any other time during the day when you may not feel quite right and you're wondering if it's related to blood sugar. And so a physician will make changes in your insulin based on your blood sugar before eating. So if you're on diet and exercise, diet, exercise, and pills, you generally test two times a day, first thing in the morning, two hours after, uh, varying meals. If you have type 2 diabetes and you had a, you're an insulin user, you want to test before breakfast, lunch, dinner, bedtime, and any other time that your physician wants you to check, and your insulin dosages will be based on those pre-meal readings. I hope this was helpful. Now you'll understand a little bit about what those numbers mean and a, a reasonable range for those numbers to be within. And um, check with your physician, see if your physician is in agreement. Your physician may have a different uh, blood sugar target that he or she feels would be uh, better for you based on your medical history and your health. All right, I'll see you next time on Diabetes in a Minute. Bye.